light Sumatar 50mm f2 is one of the more interesting lenses for the Leica thread mount. Produced between 1939 and 1952, it is the predecessor to the much lauded Sumacron. There is something very special about the Sumatar, in particular in the way that it renders the out of focus errors when shot at its fastest apertures. The effect is best described as stippled, producing a watercolour esque background, whilst remaining remarkably sharp in the centre of the frame. Because of this rather unique rendering, the Sumatar lends itself very well to portraiture. There are two main versions of this lens. Version 1 was made from 1939 until early 1950 and features a 10 blade aperture diaphragm. The most desirable of the 10 blade versions are those made between 1946 and early 1950, as these are the coated versions. Version 2 of the Sumatar was made between 1950 and 1952. These two had the upgraded coatings, but lights, for whatever reason, decided to recycle the leftover 6 blade apertures from the early 50mm Sumar. I put together this small test to compare my 1950 10-blade coated version 1 with a 1951 6-blade coated version 2. The images were shot on my 1956 Leica 3G using Ilford Delta Pro 100. As the optical elements remain the same between the lenses, this test was designed specifically to compare bokeh and flare. Here you can see the 10-blade version 1 at f2, and the 6-blade version 2 at f2. Side by side it's horses for courses when it comes to rendering, with both lenses performing almost identically. Obviously, with both apertures completely open there's no reason why the bokeh would appear any different. Stopping the lenses down to f2.8 now. Side by side they look remarkably similar. Maybe my eyes deceive me, but is there a little flare on the version 1? The shape of the bokeh remains much about the same, with only the very slightest hexagonal edges creeping in on the version 2. f4 now and there's definitely some visible flare on that version 1. The bokeh is really starting to take on a more hexagonal shape with the 6 blade version 2. At f5.6 the flare on the version 1 is quite obvious, and the bokeh on the version 2 is almost completely hexagonal. The flare gets worse at f8. The flare is still very obvious at f11. The flare is still evident, fully closed at f16. It was pretty easy to predict that the 6 bladed version 2 would produce less spherical bokeh than the 10 bladed version 1, particularly from f5.6 and slower. What I wouldn't have predicted was how much better the version 2 handled flare, particularly as both lenses appear to have much about the same coating. Now I can't say if this is the same with all later version 1s, but it's definitely the case with mine. In summary, if you plan on shooting the Sumatar wide open, which is really where this lens shows most of its charm anyway, then it really doesn't matter which of the versions you pick up. At f2 and f2.8 both lenses perform almost identically. If you intend to shoot at smaller apertures of f4 or f5.6, then really it's the version 1 you want. Those out of focus areas from the 10 blade diaphragm are just a touch more pleasing to my eye. But, with one caveat, if you intend to shoot towards the sun you're going to need a hood. There are a number of different options, my favourite is this snappily named It Do, as it clips straight onto the lens. It adds to the camera's overall size though, which may be a deal breaker. Again, if you don't want to use a hood, then think about the latest 6 bladed version 2, as it definitely seems to handle flare better.